uh, to show me your uh, oh, I thought I thought you say uh, to show you uh, to show me your unfinished office, as you mentioned on live. It, it is still unfinished. I, I've got so much work to do. It, it's just I'm very bad about things that don't make me money or oh. aren't. You know, it's like I've got so much to do. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Honestly, like having and I do want to have a beautiful office, but yes. when it comes down to it, I'm renting this place. Uh-huh. And I'm not going to spend any money. Like I, True. it's a this is a boring. I hate, I actually don't like this room. I need to just knock a wall and have like it would be beautiful to have a window right yes. here. I don't have that, uh, so uh, yeah, I'm just not going to invest too much in it at this point. Like it's, yeah, because you live into a plan with my anyhow, wife and right? my kids, so it doesn't really matter. You know, that's that's let's stick to that, right? That you move into to Aaron's. Um, Aaron's I don't know if I'll move to Atlanta, but uh, but it is something that, uh, yeah. Okay. So what, what's up, man? How how tell me. Um, what value did you get from the event, man? Did you get? Did, mm. were, were you able to see a return on investment? We well, we've um, we've seen, um, and obviously, first of all, thank you so much for um, for doing this, and thank you so much for having us. That's uh, that was super cool that we could actually be a sponsor. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was very much for us a first uh, taste of what this uh, make to measure business could become and and uh, and I know I've, <laughs> I've just looked at your profile that come up on the um, on on Google Google Plus I think still and you've got still there a tailoredsuit.com website so I quickly clicked on that and you obviously still running that well you're not running it but it's it's there yeah you know i just i leave the website up because the content is good it gets a lot of traffic but you know it's like i i just to me it's a uh it's something i i have it there but i don't do yeah yeah any i don't run the clothing or anything yeah yeah, so So, um so yeah i mean for us it's it was definitely a big first big step um taste um you know start of a beautiful journey if you think about you know five years ten years from now we're going to sit and look at each other and we say yeah it all started in influential 2018 you know that would be that's going to be awesome so i think uh, for that reason that's even more cool that we were there so no i mean monetary wise we um we sold two suits and we sold maybe three shirts um so all in all uh, we we basically probably broke even on the sponsorship and the flight and you know everything else that we had because we sold some of the you know products in the boxes as well i mean you you had some but uh you know so we we um we sold some of them as well so yeah well let me ask uh mm-hmm. i mean so is it something that are, uh, we, are we okay recording how, how is this? business going in general like uh how 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 is business um we basically right now completely focusing on advertising via Facebook. So we, I'm going to spend probably around three thousand pounds this month on Facebook ads, testing different copy. Uh, I've got a, a guy who right now does all of our copy and all of our ads and all of our testing of different audiences, you know, combination of emails and things like that. So now it's sort of the time for us to say, okay, are we leaving any money on, on the table, on Facebook table, you know, and that's what we're testing right now. So we're not even, the made to measure business, I need to grow because it's new. No one knows me. I need to, you know, um, I'm spending like too much time on this, like DMing people and like trying to get to places and trying to convince people to see me. Uh, so that is new. That's ex- exciting for me. But sort of ties and pocket squares and bow ties, that just needs to run on kind of an automated system in a way that the ad's going to be running and then we're just going to sell product on on the back of that so that's the idea to test them so at the moment we i'm spending all of my profits going into facebook ads to see how much we can actually uh you know do on on that so we'll see i'm going to do what uh where did you learn how to do facebook ads where 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 did you get your your kind of your education yeah i completely uh sort of um uh, rely on a guy who's done uh, some Facebook ads himself. He had some Shopify stores himself. He's done pretty well on selling anything on li- like from sneakers, from Alibaba, you know, all, all sorts of things like that. And it happens to be from the same town as as, as me, so it happens to be from Liverpool. So we uh, we you know we sat together and we started to sort of think about ideas of how to mm-hmm. do it. So. Um, so yes, completely, hundred uh, percent rely on his knowledge on on Facebook ads, 
and his copy. I mean, the copy on the website, like the product description right now is, I would never thought of that, you know. Uh, so he's, he's doing all of that and uh, the ads copy as well. So huge help. And he's on commission only at the moment. So he said, I don't, don't pay me anything. I want to prove to you that we can do something and we can sell loads. So, so that's what we're doing. Well, good. Well, good. You've got someone you know going on there, and mm. um, yeah, we're actually diving into Facebook ads as well. Travis mm. is uh, is getting into that with our new uh, consulting mm. arm. It, it you know it's it's still very early. Mm. I haven't, uh, haven't I have not seen a positive return on investment from what I'm doing over there at this point. But but it's something that uh, you know I'm excited about because it's something yeah. new. Uh, the idea is to sell uh, you know basically style coaching. Yeah, yeah. And uh, to sell it at a high ticket. Uh, I know. I, I remember you were saying uh, that to uh, to Dan Locke, right? You were doing that webinar with him, yep. I remember. Uh, yep. The copy on those emails, like, I don't know who written them, but Jesus, they were amazing. Like, to say, I, I don't know whether that was you or Dan or someone from his team. Like, you were, you know, afterwards, uh, when you signed up, you, you obviously got some emails saying you have to sign up, sign up. That was good copy. I, I was impressed, like, you know. Yeah, that was Dan, Dan's copy. He's got, he's got, you know, they're aggressive, too. Yeah. You know, they, yes. he is all about the sale. And, uh -huh. and, uh -huh. and in one hand, like, I know that turns some people off. That's but, fine. I mean, for yeah. me, it's like, no, you know, so many mm. businesses don't do this right. Mm. And they really do need mm. to, uh, to do a better, do a better job. Right. Absolutely, hundred you know. percent agree. So um, yeah, I mean, it, so t to me, influential. If if you want to have us next year, I, I, you know, I would want to just give you my money right now. I think for us, it's going to be a an absolutely critical and crucial, and maybe the event that we would like to be part of every year, regardless of whether you know we're going to be sponsors or not, or whether you're going to have yeah. you know bigger or smaller event. But I, I think I, I sort of feel as if that's the sort of crowd i want to talk to and people and yourself and aaron and, and all the guys you know eric and, and yeah it's it's a lot of motivation you know it's not so much as, as a business owner you know it's like it's hard to measure the return on investment directly mm. although i do want to better integrate what you're doing mm. i think by obviously by february of next year i think you're going to have a much stronger web presence I think you're going to have a lot of things changed in your company 100%. that are going to make it even more attractive for you. But uh, but we for me, it's all yeah. It's offer. About, you know that was the. I know you were asking us at the at Menfluential, like what what should we offer? Like what is? And we're like oh what should like it, this cannot happen. Like we have to have a an, a strategy coming to Menfluential of how we yeah. want to do this. But it's going to be it's going to be well thought through. So it's. It's, um, yeah, I mean, our, our, the same as, you know, Mike from Rip T or T Shanley people or Chassis or whoever, like they are there every year. I, I, I want to be there every year as well. Like I, I definitely 100% want to do that. Uh, cool. Because it's just I'll, right I'll let Aaron know. I, yeah. Yeah. I, and I definitely see that as uh, something that we can, uh, you know, we can, we can make happen. Uh, how, how is it, uh, you know, so, so what for you, what, what's the big plan over the next few months? Yeah, I mean, at the moment, I'm focusing a lot on uh, individuals. I want to have a few uh, celebrity clients, uh, and I'm DMing probably 150 people on Instagram a day, uh, you know, trying uh, to approach them differently. depends on the field of work, whether that whether they are soccer players or whether they are, you know, celebrities of some sort, and, and literally saying to them, like, you know, listen, you've got lots of things, lots of events to go to, could I could I possibly make a suit for you? You know, and then to have that start and slowly rolling into other other parts of the business. Because then, for instance, if I would make a suit for a player that plays for Manchester United, right? Then what I could mm -hmm. do, and I do a piece of content because I've got my videographer with me. Um, we can go there, you know, probably record all of it, and then imagine putting ads on Facebook against Manchester United fans. You know, that could be something that could potentially work. I'm just wondering, like, how could you so how could you show that the suits you make really solve a burning problem? Um, it's a it's a good question because they probably they they solve in the same problem uh, as three thousand pound watch solves, meaning no one needs them, but you still want them. It's it's it solves the same problem as you know super expensive. Car. You don't need to have a hundred thousand pounds car, right? 
but you, but you still buy it. So it's this it's the same thing. If you're gonna buy a thousand pounds, two thousand pounds suit, you know it's gonna be it's gonna fit better. It's gonna f make you feel better. But I'm I'm sure there is a a lot different ways to actually spend two or three grand on on other things. So it doesn't so it, apart from just a, a sheer need of having something made for you. Mm -hmm. It's gonna, it's 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 gonna be a, a one thing that you perhaps don't need in your life, but you're still gonna buy it, uh, and that's yeah. But what problem mm -hmm. is that solving for that guy? Like, what? Why does he buy the? Why do your guys buy their suits? Uh, I would I, I would answer to, to this question too. If you are wondering if if this suit is right for you, or if it's solving any problem for you, I don't think that that we are the right fit for that guy who asking that question. Meaning. There is a lot. There is a lot different suit at a lot lower price range that we could perhaps even recommend. Like I, 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 I still recommend people go somewhere else. Like I still qualify people before I even speak to them about price or speak to them mm -hmm. about anything else. Because to me, like I, I'm, I'm, you, you must be the same. Like if people are asking you for for help, you can you can show them the the two thousand pound suit, but you. You can easily say go to suit supply because they're still doing good suits, but they're going to try the suit supply. They're still going to come back to you if, that, if that's what they want. It, it's just giving them option. It doesn't solve any other problem apart from the the sheer need of having something made for you and it's custom and it's how you want it and it has got your monograms on it and it has got exactly the same fabric that you. It has got you know a picture of your family inside your suit jacket. You know it has got a custom lining. It has got all sorts of things that. And uh, that a normal suit hasn't got, so it doesn't solve any. You know, it's not a a a, a life threatening solving problem kind of situation. You know, no, no. but but you know Maslow's uh, what is it hierarchy yeah, of, of needs. needs? Yeah, you know what? Where does it? What does it solve there? Well, like? the, it doesn't solve. Yeah, that's the last one up there. You know, the um, how do you say the appreciation or whatever the one of the last top um, pyramids is. Like the recognition and appreciation of of what you do, so this is how you express yourself, right? You want to be you. Want, yeah, we've it, got. Yeah, is that I'm just thinking. I, we've got yeah, we've got esteem, we've got love, belonging, self actualization. A lot of people, like a lot of up and coming hmm. men, you know, they want to belong hmm. to an elite group. Hmm. They want to walk into a, they want to walk into a, a club. They want to walk into a place hmm. and be recognized mm. as one of the guys as like not an outsider. Mm. I'm just thinking like, you know, that's, I'm going to borrow that. I don't know. I, if I was back in the business, you know, I would be thinking about how I can create a suit for you mm. that is going to basically, you know, it's going to make you, I, I create individual suits for the individual man that makes him look like a million bucks, yeah. you know, or a million pounds. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, you can't get that, you know, with with an off the rack, or if you can, but you got to really know what you're looking yes. for. And I think you got to, yeah. you know, it's for the guy that, yeah, he just wants it all taken care of. He wants the white glove service. That's what Absolutely. you provide. Yes. You build him, mm. you know, that you build him mm. the wardrobe of his dreams. Mm. You know? I agree. Yeah, I, I I agree, and I and I'll appreciate and I borrow some of the some of your words. So uh, <laughs> yes. Steal it, steal uh -huh, it. Uh -huh. So how 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 the wife? How'd she enjoy uh, the trip to Atlanta? She um, she was she was the star of the show. Uh, so uh, she's stolen, man. Uh, I think we need more women, by the way. I think it would be nice to um, you know to have your wife there. I know you've got kids, so that needs to. But but it's it would be nice to have. No, I'm I'm saying that that you are you know you should bring your wife with uh, with you and um, you know leave the key kids with someone else and uh, and have more sort of a sort of family feel to it yeah. you know um i know aaron said that trace definitely never gonna be seen on menfluential because he he doesn't want her to be there but but i'm sure your your wife obviously is, is public figure and um, you know through youtube channels so people yeah know you know anyway. yeah she's put out a little bit but she doesn't like she doesn't seek it out or anything and yeah. uh but but it, it has been uh something that yeah, you know, but I, I'll be uh, like I said, we'll be back in London. Uh, mm. We're gonna, we're, I'm we'll, speaking at Chris's event, I and know. then we're going to uh, 
you know, we'll probably end up going down to, I think this time we want to go see uh, Scotland and we want to go, uh, we want to get out to uh, Ireland as well. So Nice. Yeah, Scotland's going to be great. You, you're going to have trouble understanding people, but that's okay. You're going you're gonna to laugh at people talking to you and you're going to be like, is that still, is that still English? You're going yeah. to be laughing, yes. So that's good. Yeah, we want to we want to go see the real uh, the real English yeah, <laughs> England, not not just you know we spent all of our time in London and yes. London's great, but yes. but London is a whole nother world. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah, so that's um, I've seen you everywhere. I've seen you on Pat Flynn's. I've seen you like you everywhere these days. Like Jesus, you did, yes. I try not to, you know, it's funny is like, I don't feel like I'm doing that many interviews, but yeah, I just try to stay focused on the business mm. right now. Mm. I've got a lot to do. I've been traveling a lot. Mm. Um, and, and that's good. You have, but uh, you went to Eric's place as well, like, or, um, Baird Brandt, That's what I'm thinking. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We were just at his house, the other, yeah. his place the other day. It was good. <laughs> just seeing Eric. <laughs> yeah. See, I, mean, I, was in like, Austin, I, I know exactly what you do. Like it's, as if I'm I'm stalking you, but it's like you 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 want to be stalked because you're showing where you are. So uh, I guess you've got that in you. So uh, where did I where did I post that I was with Eric? It must have been on somebody's posted it on Instagram. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, you know, it's out there. Yeah. It's official. Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, so. You know, that's the thing about being a public. I guess uh, having a public profile. I don't mind when it's me, yeah. but you know, it's like yeah, you start thinking about being a lot more careful with your kids and stuff. Of course, of but course. Uh, no, it's um, yeah. I I I still um, probably the one thing that I'm thinking about influential, and we we had a chat with uh, with the wife about it as well. Is we um, we were not hundred percent sure on how how to get more help for like we didn't ask for help from you or Aaron because we didn't know what we want but I think that's why we didn't get any because we didn't know what we want and I think if we think about that for next year in a sense that okay um you know it would be nice if we do this or do that before event or you know even in the group or even in this like like you know plan that those activities uh, a bit better uh, I yeah, think that would be, that would yeah. Be I think I mean the people that get the most from the event are the people that show up prepared mm. and they've already planned things out like yeah. a month before, yeah, yeah. and they've already like connected with all the mm. guys in the group, mm. and you know that that's what I'm going to do. I mean, we're going to do even better this next year. Is mm. is you know use the the Facebook group is just going to get better, stronger. Mm. Uh, we've already sold uh, I think like close to 200 tickets. Wow. You know, it's like yeah. So it's like we already are on. You know, now it's. <laughs> Opening it up to the general, uh -huh. uh, the general audience, and getting uh, you mm. know the right people in the right mm. place, and mm. hopefully be able to to sell this out uh, here soon. Yeah, I mean, are you still keeping it at five hundred, right, or four hundred, or whatever you're gonna have? Oh, I'm thinking, yeah, four hundred and fifty is gonna be the uh, the right number, because uh, that doesn't include you know all the other Stuff. people that yeah. show up. So so oh, it'll yeah, be yeah. over five hundred right. people. Yeah, it's true, there. true. But I felt it was pretty, uh, you know. It was it was it was crowded. It was it was a good you know good number of people there. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So um, you know, for, definitely for next year, we will 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 we'll plan it differently as well, and and just having um, you know even asking you or I, I think I don't think I've seen Aaron for the entire two days. Like he was just obviously busy running about. Uh, I didn't even probably have a have a he was picture there. with yeah. you or, or with you or with Aaron. I was like. Shit, we we missing pictures from you know with the main guys like we, because we were busy, you were busy. I was like, oh, we need to uh, we need to plan. Yeah, I'm gonna meeting. I'm gonna have a talk with the photographer. I wasn't yeah. happy with. We had three photographers there, yeah. and it, it felt very unplanned and unorganized. Uh, but I really need someone actually to run. Mm. I feel like the actual event because mm. I'm still running it, yeah, and yeah. I need someone that brings just a bunch of organization right into it, mm -hmm. and. And boom, you know, just just makes things happen. And you can just enjoy just mingling about, yeah. Ideally, that's that's the way we'd want it. I, I'd want it. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so you definitely come into London in November, right? Yep, yeah. I've already signed. I told Chris I'll be there. I've signed. I need to just buy the tickets. So yeah, okay, that's great. Okay, so I, I'll definitely be there because I've already bought tickets as well last year. For... Yeah, we'll do a meetup or something. We'll do yeah. like a, a same, very similar, I think, mm. to Before. like. Mm. Maybe even have it at the same place, the lanes of London again. You know, type. Ah, no, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was easy, and they had food, and they they were able to accommodate us. Psh, works for me, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, it was good. It was great. So 
Uh, yeah, I mean, your brand and Aaron's brand is only going to get bigger and better, you know, with the podcast. And Oh, by the way, um, are you actually doing Alexa skills? Have you you've been following the sort of the newest trends? Are you doing anything? In yeah, I, I haven't done them yet. Uh, okay. So it's an open market. You know, it's like, hey, it's just a matter of time, you know, to get on there. I've seen a few people on there and I spoke with uh, a guy that wanted me to get on Alexa's skill. I mean. I, I know about it, and it's just a matter of, uh, yeah, getting out there and doing it. If, well, uh, there is a friend of mine put together a course on Udemy. It's like a three-hour course, uh, and it tells you everything you need to know about Alexa's skill and how to do it. And I did oh. it, like, last Ch week. <clears throat> I'll send you and what did you think? I, I, I'm on it now. I'm, I'm, I'm dailing uh, fashion tips, men's finest daily fashion tip. And, um, what, and what are you seeing? What, what uh, type of numbers are you seeing? 400, 600 views a day. Good. Out of nothing. It's, it's insane. Yeah. So uh, it's, yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I listened to Gary V's book uh, today on the way from London and, uh, you know, crushing it. And obviously he was talking about Alexa's skill there. And I mean, he's. Who's, so, your, who's your buddy? What's his course? Um, I'll, let, hold on, I'll, I'll show, show you now. Uh, so it's Udemy, and it is. Sorry, you're break it, breaking it up. No, 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 hold on. So it is that. Uh, I'll paste. Uh -huh. Copy. And I'll paste it onto the chat. Uh, how do I open a, ch a chat? A chat here. Okay, right, hold on. Yeah, I saw Megan of Style Girlfriends on there, and there's a few other people, mm. but not not really much much out there. But if yeah, you're out there, but it's, yeah. like it's in, it's it's insane what's happening, uh, and it's and I can see I've just put out another seven episodes for next week of that, um, and it's like one minute episodes of you know you telling people what you know how whatever they should do like you know check your shoes in the morning or you know blah, 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 you know this is how you care for your shirt yeah you, and you've got a competitive advantage because you've got that accent people like an accent <laughs> yeah but you've got how many million followers on youtube like this is your competitive advantage like yeah yeah i can bring in some size to it you know it's yeah. like i mean everyone like, brings in something you know unique yeah. to it but no but it's true like i mean i'm sure if you it's what I would do if I was you, I, I, I like tell me if I'm talking here out of my out of my league. But what I would do if I was you, I would do that course or at least get familiarized. But I think if you get familiarized, you understand what it is, so it's going to be easy for you to navigate around that. But also, then do a series of videos on on YouTube about this because there's not, you know, with your size, very quickly if you're going to tell about Alexa's oh. skill on YouTube, like people are going to listen. Uh, so. How yeah, you're going to see We I actually have it on the list. Uh, a friend of mine named Jonathan Bates. Okay. Uh, we had we had a long talk about this uh, when I was in San Diego mm -hmm. last month. Mm -hmm. I've given it to Travis mm -hmm. and uh, it's just a matter of execution. You know, it's mm -hmm. like I have yeah. so many things to do in a matter of. But yeah, uh, but yeah this call just I, I'm going to send a quick note that he will. That's that's why I like having a team. It's like, no, nope, you're going to. That's the focus tomorrow. And we're going to be on Amazon by my by my by by Tuesday. So good. So you we're going to be direct competition. So that's good. Uh, yeah, that's well, I think we're very going to be very different. So <laughs> I'll take a look at what you're doing, and you know, do I mean the thing is, is if someone's yeah. listening to one, they're going to go find some other ones because some people aren't. Gonna, it's I, like you want yes. more people in there, 100%. and we're already. It's like me and Aaron. Like mm. I wish I would have been in YouTube earlier, mm. but he mm. was first. You know, mm. it's like I can't really do much about mm. that. Yeah. Mm. No, but it's uh, it, it doesn't the same as like I I had a chat with one of the make to measure custom suit tailor last week Jacob Clayton he was also at Menfluential uh, his Instagram is at uh, Image Ambassador and we had a chat in our chat here on Skype we recorded everything and I um, and he told me about something and all of a sudden I've told him about something and now my podcast you know I've obviously seen that you you focus on podcasts as well which is good like my podcast gets a lot of views because of he you know recommended me and it's all of a sudden like we are not competition like I'm not competition to Jacob even though we do no. the same thing but it's like like we But we you don't have, do the same yeah, thing it's like don't. that's why that's why yeah. I always say what mm. problem do you solve mm. because 
Aaron helps. I mean, Aaron is like the fashionable uncle to like a yeah, lot of people. Yeah. A lot of these guys. Uh, he's like he's a fashion forward. He's yeah. a single. You know, he's a, he's yeah. not single, but he's he yeah. seems like it because yeah. he didn't have kids. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm like the I'm the dad. I'm yeah, the educator. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. and and that's where I got to play my strengths. No, it's uh, and it's going to attract different people because some people do not want to work with Aaron because he's too edgy. People want to work with me because I'm more conservative. Yeah. Mm, but mm. there's other people that like Aaron's style more than mine. I get it. Mm. Mm. Oh, absolutely, 100%. Um, yeah, send Travis that. Uh, yeah, give him some homework to do. Um, he's going to be like, shit, <laughs> who's, who's remind you about this? And you're like, yeah, uh, Michael just did. So, no, 100%, you should go on it. Uh, you're going to enjoy it. And yeah. And you've got all the equipment anyhow to do it, uh, so it's just going to be a matter of recording it. Um, yes. Cool. Well, all right, man. Oh, well, good. hey, I've got yeah, I've got. I'm going to go get a lunch break. I, I've actually, I'm going to take this quick window go get some food. I just wanted to talk to you, just shoot the shit for a while. I'll yeah. see you in London when I get there. Let's yes. start. Already start thinking about that meetup because we can mm -hmm. start. You know, we did that last one. Talk to Paul. Mm -hmm. Talk to some of the other guys. Mm -hmm. Let's think about like, do we want to make it like, I don't know. Do we, where do we want to go with it? Like I, I, I have no problem promoting it. Hmm. Uh, I don't think it should be called like StyleCon or actually we could call it StyleCon because I don't call it Menflu. I mean, Menfluential is my conference now, yes. but whatever we think it should be to like get, cause we got almost a hundred guys to show up. It was crazy. You know, let's, and yeah, and well, this is where the magic something? happens. You know, this is where people come into you and say, you know, like the nicest thing you can possibly hear, like that you've done something good. Like, you know, it's, yeah. it's the, you, you want, you, you, you'll hear that on Influential as well because it's one-to-one, -one, but it's, that's 500 guys. Whereas here you've got that sort of. Yeah. And we've already got the guys that attended the mm. London meetup. We've got the Facebook page, mm. Facebook mm. group. Mm. If we start talking about it now, mm. like people start putting it in, they're planning for it. And so many guys are in London anyway. So true. No, it's going to, it's going to be good. So. Um, yeah, like, like let me know if uh, I, I'll talk to Paul as well about it. I, I basically I, I've asked you this before, but I'm going to ask you again. Like we, uh, I'm recording this, but whether we decided to put this on air or not, it's it depends on you whether you want to get rid of some bits from what we just discussed or not. Because I'm thinking of you know like doing maybe snippets of on this conversation that we just had on podcast, uh, you know, and maybe uh, you know 27 minutes. Maybe we can take. 10 minutes out of that and put it on the podcast or put it on YouTube. If you, if you don't mind, like if you do mind, then this never, this conversation never took place. No, no, no. But I don't That's think we cool, discussed man. anything cool. that it's, um, that is confidential. Did we? Did I? No, we, uh, no, I, th I think we were all right. We didn't, we didn't no. reveal any, any nasty details of people. Have we? No, I, think I don't think right. so. Make sure it's like not boring though. You you are on it. It's not going to be boring. Yeah, do you, do you I don't about? know. I, I find I find it I'm boring sometimes. <laughs> and uh, yes, good. Um, yes, do more podcasts uh, because um, I think the podcast is one of the the things that I'm. I know you focus on this, uh, and I'm and I'm and I've got this notification coming on my phone. How often do you do that? But it's not often enough, I believe. But that's my opinion. It's voice, right? If you like, listen to Gary V. That that book, honestly, crushing it. You, you know, when you're going to be driving or whatever, doing going to bed I, I, or whatever. I'm going to. Yeah, that's another one. It's, in fact, I've got so many credits with Audible. Oh. That one's an easy one because I forgot that he read it and, and he doesn't follow the script. He kind of guy just yes. does his own yes. thing. Uh, it's so it's it's again it's a good book because that you know when you're driving or doing whatever else you're doing washing or whatever, um, it's it's good to. Um, so remind yourself about some of the things that you're doing right and some of the things that you should be improving on. And it's like, oh, shit, I need to do this. I need to more. Ah, yes, I need to do more of that. Uh, and it's just a good reminder. He's uh, I, like another, another thing that I think you should do, like interview Gary V. Like I'm sure he would come on, like interview Pat Flynn and, and on, yeah, on your you channel, know, right? Yeah, you know, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. I just simply, you know, have it's like, you know, work hard, get interviewed. Gary V, or just go spend time hanging out with my son reading comics. <laughs> you know, it, it, it is, True. you know, these are like True. the choices I'm making. You know, it's like, and it really just comes True. down to, and that's why there's always, mm. I think, opportunity for mm. anyone mm. Uh, is just simply, I mean, I'm not, I don't have time to do all this shit. Absolutely. And there's just so many. Uh, how many, yeah. how many t team staff you've got? You've got Travis, you've got, how many people you've got? You've got like graphic designers? 17 about now. 
So. 17. I thought you were going to say six. No, 17. No, got, yeah. Who are they? Like uh, administrators or graphics? Or who, who are those people? Uh, I've got probably I've got two artists, two full time video guys, uh, two. Two assistants that manage my email and my communications. Wow. I've got uh, two tech people. Uh, I've got uh, Travis as a, as a manager. I've got Steven as a content editor. I've got, uh, yeah, I'll have to sit down and go through them. Uh, I've got Jane, my social media manager. So, Oh, another thing. Insta stories. Oh yeah, Insta Insta stories. Are you gonna Are you gonna Are you gonna do some real stuff there, or are you just gonna be? I don't about even it? have it on my phone. I don't have Instagram on my phone. Yeah, you can tell because there is, you know, those Insta stories you put out. They obviously. I right, listen. My assistant, uh, she is. She's born on Instagram. She's like nineteen, and she can do a lot more things that we can uh, on it. Yeah. Um, and I've asked her to put uh, some Instagram stories for you. It doesn't matter. You know, like whether you like it or not. I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow ask... follow up with me on this Insta yeah. stories, man. Let's. I, I got. I got. I got to go because I got. I got my That's my okay. lunch okay. waiting you for me. Go. You go. But, don't worry. Yeah, I'll... but hey, man, I I agree. We can do so much better. And and this is where like when I took that, I've been you know I've got two months of conferences and trips from Menfluential that I still haven't implemented so much of this stuff, but uh, but I will be. So just uh, yeah, it, it just it, it's coming. It's coming. All right, man. <laughs> Thank you hey, so much, sir. Good talking with you. Mike. Yes. Take care.